What's up guys, welcome back. So I'm out here on the water having a blast with all the goodies that we added to the boat. Lowrance Active Target, this thing is legit. But today I wanna to talk about and cover an on the water review of the Live Scanner Elite. That's the mount that we have our Active Target on. You can see the Active Target transducer mounted to the bottom, bottom of it up there. This mount, in my opinion, is hands down the best on the market. There's other companies that offer them. In fact, Live Scanner wasn't even the first company to offer a mount like this but there's a couple features on this thing. One in particular that in my opinion just sets this thing above the rest um, of the other mounts out there on the market. And again, disclaimer, I always like to mention this when I do videos like this, I am not sponsored by Live Scanner at all. I paid full price for this mount, just like anybody else would. All right, so let me show you a couple features on it and how I put it to good use with the Active Target. And again, that one feature that in my opinion just sets it apart from the rest. Okay, so for the first feature and the first reason, I would recommend one of these electronic mounts, especially the live scanner. Um, but this is a feature that just about all of the electronic mounts offer. Basically, if you use any kind of spot lock or anchor mode is what Lowrance calls it. As you can see at the top of the screen, we're in anchor mode right now. Let's say you find a school, whether you're pan fishing, bass fishing, doesn't matter what you're fishing for, you find a school, you want a spot lock. Now today, as you can probably tell by the water, it's pretty calm. So today isn't as important, but let's say it was a little windy, the boat was getting blown around, blah, blah, blah. You hit that spot lock button. If you had the active target mounted to the shaft of your trolling motor, whenever your trolling motor spins to keep you spot locked, guess what? Your transducer's going with it. So you're gonna lose the school of fish that you have on your screen for active target. That's where these electronic mounts come into play big time. It is completely independent from the trolling motor. As you can see, the Ghost, is spinning doing its thing keeping us anchor locked right now the live scan isn't moving okay you can use the foot pedal or they come with a remote as well if you choose to get that option okay so while that ghost is anchored keeping us pinned where we are i can take my remote spin that live scan left right whatever you want to do so if you're on a school and you know they they move 20 feet to the left or 20 feet to the right you, you don't have them on the screen anymore well you don't have to worry about taking your motor off spot lock now you can just scan with your live scanner find that school again line up your cast with the direction arrow on there and uh, make your presentation the second feature that the live scanner offers you and this is by far the biggest advantage of the live scanner versus all of the other mounts on the market if you go with the elite model you can get variable speed now, when you first hear that, you might not think that's a big deal. I gotta be honest, when I ordered this mount, I wasn't sure if I was actually gonna get that option. I didn't know how much it would come into play. Let me tell you guys, I gotta be honest, now that I have this function, I don't think I could fish without it. It is priceless. And the live scanner is the only mount on the market that offers the variable speed option, which is why I mentioned in the beginning, in my opinion, it's hands down the best out there. So basically all you do you come down to the foot pedal and you can see a knob right here, okay? It allows you to turn it all the way off if you turn it all the way, but you can turn it on. I don't know if you heard that little click, but now you can fine tune how fast your active target transducer spins on the live scan. Where that comes into play and where I find myself using it the most, when we're anchored, like I just showed you, I turn that way down because I wanna be able to fine tune and really kind of dial in the angle of the active target, especially because it's only got that 18 degree cone when you're on forward mode, okay? So I really wanna fine tune where that thing is pointing. So being able to turn that speed way down allows me to get that thing lined up exactly where I want it, no questions asked. Where the faster speeds come into play and where I use them, and again, I mean, I'll show you real quick how slow it'll go and then how fast it'll go by turning this knob, but where the faster speeds come in, when I'm going down a bank or I'm following a contour line, I'll turn that thing up. And basically as I'm going down the bank or contour line, I'm just scanning left and right, going quicker with that active target. It allows me to cover way more water, see way more you know, stuff in front of the boat and off to the sides of the boat. Um, I'm not sure the exact turn radius of the live scan, um, so I don't wanna say the wrong information, but it turns pretty far to the left, pretty far to the right. So as I'm going down a bank or a contour line, I crank that speed up, really kind of just go back and forth, scanning the water in front of me. And I can't tell you how many times I found fish doing that, or I found you know a, a big boulder. Now you can go, I'm sure you can go driving by there with your side scan and find that same boulder 
but it's not live and you won't see the fish swimming around like you do on the active target. That is the biggest difference and I'm telling you, now that I have that on the boat, that variable speed, I would not want to fish without it. It is a huge advantage. Um, so let me show you exactly how slow you can turn this thing down to and then I'll crank it up and show you how fast it'll go. Hey guys, before we go any further, please make sure you like this video if you find it helpful. It really does help the channel grow. And if you're not subscribed already, there's a little icon down on the bottom right of your screen with the, it, with the image of my channel. If you click on that, it'll get you subscribed. Turn on that bell so you're notified every time we post videos, whether it's on the boat or the truck. And uh, again, it really does help the channel grow. I appreciate all the support. Okay, so right now, as you can see the knob, I have it on basically almost just about as slow as it'll go. Now watch that yellow direction arrow on the live scanner right there, okay? We're still in anchor mode, so I'm on a school and I wanna scan left and right. Let me see if I can get you a little closer. Look how slow that thing is turning. That really allows you to dial in that active target and get it pointing exactly where you want it, okay? So let me turn that dial up a little bit as you can see i'm just going back to the right just to give you an idea of how slow you can turn this down to so let's crank it up and i'll show you exactly how fast it'll go now obviously you can go anywhere in between but let's say we crank this thing all the way up i gotta be honest i've never used it all the way up because you're gonna see it moves <laughs> so with that thing cranked all the way up you can see how fast that thing scans back and forth it's unreal all right, I usually like to put it somewhere in the middle when I'm scanning, you know, down the banks or a contour line, like I mentioned. I usually have it somewhere right in around there. I gotta put a mark on here actually, um, so I know exactly where my, my favorite settings are. Um, but as you can see, I put it kind of right there in the middle. And now you can see that's about a good speed for me to scan down a bank or a contour line. And again, Live Scanner is the only mount on the market as of today that has that variable speed option thing is built like a tank i have nothing bad to say about it once again guys i'm not sponsored by them i paid full price for that mount just like everybody else i want you guys to know that so you don't think i'm you know persuaded in any way shape or form i always tell you guys the honest um you know my honest feedback and reviews on these things the other thing real quick that i wanted to mention um the elite if you see this button right here that's actually a light so now we're during the day, you can't really see it, but for night fishing, which I do in the springtime for walleye, um, there's a little bit of, there's a little LED right here that turns on to light up your foot pedal. And then if you look at the top of the mount, the yellow arrow in the turn and, and the word live scan on the top of it right there, that lights up as well. So when you're night fishing, um, you know, you could easily see where that direction, where the directional arrow is pointing. All right, guys, give, the, give this a look, live scan. Tell them I sent you. Again, I don't get any perks for this by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I'm not sponsored by them, but if you like what you see, go check this out. It is the hands down the best mount on the market for our active target systems or Garmin Live Scope, of course, if that's what you have on your boat. So give them a look. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know, let me know down below and I'll get them addressed for you. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.